The seventh graders were making out. Like, oh my god, is she serious? He's ugly. I hate her guts. Love is in the air. Jacob is madly in love with me. I wish I could meet someone out there that I could lose my breath to. I'm actually speechless. He wouldn't let go of my hand, and I saw a little blood in the toilet. I'm glad that people like me, but they're all ugly. He rushed over to his friends and was like, I was holding hands with Carrie. <laughs> I'm so disgusted with myself. Hi everyone. We have officially made it to part five of the Reading My Diary series. It is crazy to me that it's been over a year since Reading My Diary part four. I have put out some other videos of me reading my diary in the meantime, but this is the official part five in the Reading My Diary series. <sighs> this is a special one too, because in the last video, we finished up my first ever diary, which was this one, the one that we've been reading in the first four parts, which means in today's video, we are officially graduating into the second one. Of all of my journals, this is probably the one that I remember the least. I really don't remember what's in here, so we are in for a treat. As always, I don't have the key to this lock, so I use a little bobby pin that I just pulled open to jangle around in here and pick the lock. Aha, there we go. So for reference, I started this diary on August 26th, 2013, and I ended it on July 23rd, 2015. So it took me about two years to fill this up, and I started this when I was 11 and ended it when I was 13. This diary I remember was actually my friend Megan's. She had this diary and she had written in the first chunk of it, like the first few pages, and when I saw it at her house, I was like, oh my gosh, I want that so badly, and she was like, oh, I never use it, you can have it. I don't know if you can tell, but there's little sections sections in the binding and the first section here was actually taken out which is where her pages were. <gasps> I'm so scared! So when I first opened this up, on top of the very first entry are these sticky notes and I don't know how old I was when I wrote them because they're not dated but it must have been somewhere in the range of 11 to 13, probably closer to 13 if I had to guess. They're honestly really really sad. I'm not gonna share them all just because like some of it's very personal but just to give you an idea, here's one of them. I was basically just having like a little crisis at the time and I guess I just wrote down a bunch of the stuff on my mind on these sticky notes maybe I was planning on writing about it at some point I don't know if I ever did or not let's get on with the actual journal entries August 26th 2013 OMG this is my first entry of this book slash journal slash diary okay so I have lots of news First of all, if we still lived in Florida, we would have started school already. They started the 19th and here we start the 3rd of September. I moved away from Florida to Virginia in I think 2012. Speaking of school, I got my teacher's name this year. It's kind of weird because she was my science teacher last year. She was a fifth grade teacher then. So I'm going into sixth grade. Also, I have a little drawing of a pencil on the side. Very nice detail. Ben got Mrs his teacher's name, which is really long. I'm glad I didn't get her because it would be a pain in the you know what having to spell her name. Also, I'm extremely glad I didn't get the other sixth grade AAP teacher because there's all the mean popular girls, except two in that class. I don't know who Bristol got yet. That was my best friend at the time. Her mail system isn't working or something. Oh my gosh. Throwback to when your teacher and all of your classmates were like announced in the mail. Like a physical copy. In high school, it was all electronic. That's so weird. Over a group text, which had 16 people in it, including me, the worst thing happened. Well, not the worst thing, but it was pretty bad. So Ben asked which teacher misses his teacher was, math or language arts. He knew my teacher was science. So Aaron, a mean popular person, was like, math I think, math teachers are the worst. And then I put a little plus minus times and divide. <laughs> and I was like, nah, -uh. and she was like, yeah. So I told her how our teacher last year was awesome, but she disagreed. Our teacher last year was a math teacher. Also, okay, wait, let me explain something really quick. There were three different classes of the grade. You had your main homeroom teacher, but they also specialized in like a subject. So in sixth grade, my teacher was the science teacher, but I also had her for like other homeroom stuff. And then at some point during the day, we would switch to the other two teachers of the three for like math or language arts. And then history was in there somewhere. So I told her how our teacher last year, and she was a math teacher, was awesome, but she she disagreed. She said I only thought that because she liked me and I never got in trouble and that I was a teacher's pet with a girl named Tori. <laughs> I mean, 
Honestly, I kind of was in fifth grade. Then I told her that she was being kind of mean and this was her exact response. Yes, you were. Whenever we would try to have fun, you're like, we're gonna get in trouble. And I only speak the truth. If you're too scared to accept the truth, don't be my friend. That is so sad. Poor little Carrie, I was just trying to do the right thing and she was being so mean. If you're too scared to accept the truth, don't be my friend. I'm gonna start using that. Like, oh my God, is she serious? In front of 14 other people? Ben started agreeing with her, but then I told him, you're my brother. And he apologized, but Aaron didn't. Come on, Carrie, live a little. And Ben told her to stop being mean to me, but she was like, I'm not. Again, I only speak the truth. So I told her that she wasn't the nicest and she said that's my opinion and that she would rather be not the nicest than to lie. We really are like just starting off this journal with some boiling hot tea. I was just like, happy new journal. Guess what happened? This girl was being so mean to me. What's funny is I still follow her on Instagram and like we don't keep in touch or anything, but I have her on Instagram. Ben told her how I just don't like having a bad Bad reputation with the teachers and then Aaron said okay I'm leaving now you're welcome Wow the sass I hate her guts with lots of mad faces anyways I started truly <laughs> subject change little Carrie was just Always had, always had the greatest subject changes. Anyways, I started cheerleading last Monday. Today was my third day. I have them every Mondays and Wednesdays. On the second day, the seniors, the oldest group out of three, which is what I'm in, had to help the ankle biters, the youngest group. Ankle biters? <laughs> what kind of name is that? That is so weird. And there's a little cheer doodle on the side. Um, blah, blah, blah. Had to help the ankle biters with stunts. So I was demonstrating something when a little kindergartner told me, you're good at this. You're really pretty. That made my day. That reminds me. Olivia one of the kind of mean popular people, but is kind of my friend, said that out of one to 10 for prettiness, I'm a seven and a half or an eight, but in high school, I'm going to be a strong 10. She also said I had great potential. Smiley face. Man, I do not miss this age. This reminds me of when we first got Instagram. I don't know when I first got Instagram. I must have been around 13, I think. It was probably a couple years after this, but you would like rate each other. It would be like, like this post for a rate, and then you would like comment on their post what you would rate them one through ten and like for your friends you would write bms like beyond my scale <sighs> Wow, I do not miss being 11. <laughs> I'm starting a job as a mother's helper. I'm helping my neighbor. Her nine month old baby Katie is totes adorable. For some reason, she's always trying to touch my braces. It was so cute. <laughs> and then I have a picture of a baby and my braces. So yesterday we watched Life of Pi for the first time. This journal entry is all over the place. Best movie ever, but not as good as The Hunger Games. So in the middle of the movie, we had a bathroom break. I kind of walked in on mom and I saw a little blood in the toilet. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> she immediately flushed, which she never does, if someone's going to the bathroom right after her, you know, to save water. I just pretended I didn't see anything. At least now I know what time of the month I'll have my period, so I'll be prepared for it, hopefully. Just trying to look on the bright side with a sun. Ah, <sighs> wow, I really did not understand the menstrual cycle. I remember it was on like the 25th of the month when this happened. And then on the 25th, on the days afterwards, I was like, is today the day? Is it gonna happen this month? And that's just, that's just not how it is. I like assumed that my cycle would match my mom's exactly. But even then, it's not like it starts on the same day every month because that's not how the cycle works. So moving on to the next entry, August 29th, 2013. Now we're writing in orange. I was writing in pink before. I'm pretty sure I write in like yellow and then green and then blue in the following entries. OMG, OMG, OMG. I'm so upset. Oh, I thought it was a happy OMG. Bristol's not in my class. She's in Ben's. It's not fair. At least she's not in the third class. It turns out Vincent is in my class. That was one of my brother's friends. We went to open house today. I'm sitting with someone named Jonathan. He's new this year, new with a K because I don't recognize his name. I'm pretty sure he wasn't new. I don't know the other two people who sit at my table. You get to choose where you sit and only Jonathan's name tag was there. Okay, for context, you like walk into the classroom on like the little meet the teacher thing before school and you like put your name tag down on the desk. And at the time there was 
a group of four tables. Only Jonathan's name tag was there and the three other tables were empty so I put my name down on one and then the other two people came in after me at some point. I hope he's cute. By the way, for some reason, I love the name John. He he he. Jonathan. I don't know why. I feel like ever since I was really little, I was convinced I was gonna marry someone named John, which is just so bizarre. I don't understand where that came from and I don't feel like that anymore. But hey, I guess I was hoping to have the hots for Jonathan simply because his name was like John. Okay, so the story that me and Gabby were gonna write. Oh my gosh, I literally am gonna have like a stroke with how much I jump around and change topics. Anyway, my friend Gabby and I were writing a story. So the story that me and Gabby were gonna write, but then I didn't want to write anymore because it would be so embarrassing if anyone read. Yeah, I have an idea. So I've been wanting a laptop and if I had one, I could just type the story with Gabby. Plus I could do my homework on it and get Minecraft. It's brilliant. Now all I need to do is convince mom why I should get a laptop. I didn't get my first laptop until after I graduated high school. So yeah, I definitely did not convince her. But I have a picture of an A plus on a piece of paper. Maybe that's how I was gonna convince my mom getting good grades. A Minecraft block and a piece of paper that says by Carrie and Gabby, which is our story that we never wrote. I'm visiting home right now and I scavenged my room to find this binder, which has the outline for the story that Gabby and I were going to write. I knew I had it in my room somewhere and I finally found it. I have not looked at this in so long. It has some nice pink paper and there's a character list by Carrie and Gabby. So these are the kids slash students. I guess it's like in a high school type setting. Probably high school if I had to guess, even though we were in elementary school, like 11 years old at the time of writing this. So the main character is Marissa Thompson. She is short, has brown hair, blue eyes, and is awesome, which is probably supposed to be modeled after me. Then there's Juliana, or Julie for short, Williams. She's tall, is dirty blonde, has brown eyes, and is amazing. Amazing. That's probably supposed to be Gabby. Then we have John Stevenson, which is, <laughs> if I had to guess, that's probably my love interest, considering that his name is John. We all know I was obsessed with that name for some reason. Then there's Max Barrington, Molly Freeman, Henry Richard, Leanne Knox, Lindsay Knox, they're probably twins, Leanne and Lindsay, Alex Walter, Nick Price, Sophia Chesterfield, Ryan Ebster, Claire DeLeo, Paul Allen, Carly Newman, the bully, and we have Roberto Limone, who's an Italian dude. <laughs> what the heck? Um, I wish the other characters had descriptions and stuff. Then we have the parents and teachers, Mr. and Mrs. Thompson, Mr. and Mrs. Williams, Mr. Walter, Alex's dad, the geeky math teacher, and Miss Author, the new teacher that loves kids. So those are the characters that we have. And then we have a page that says ideas for a book by Carrie and Gabby. Basically, the book is about two girls fighting over a guy. They do mean things to each other to have him as their boyfriend. So they do tricks on each other. So they start by both agreeing to share their crush at the same time at a sleepover. Probably like a, we're gonna tell each other who we have crush on, three, two, one, say his name. But they say the same name. So they have the same crush and then the war starts. So Julie does the first trick. Girl one goes on a date with crush. I guess girl one is Marissa and girl two is Julie. Girl one goes on a date with the crush and girl two sabotages the food. Apparently she hires the Italian friend to dress up as a cook slash waiter. What the heck, Carrie? Why? So they sabotage the food for girl one. Girl one ends up sweating uncontrollably. I guess she made it really spicy. And the crush puts a cold napkin on girl one's face and she barfs on him. Mmm, crazy. Then Marissa has to get her back and Marissa does a trick. So girl two, Julie, goes to the hair salon and girl one does something to the hair gel and girl two's hair turns blue. Isn't there a movie like this? Like Bride Wars or something? We're gonna change that idea and come up with a different trick. Then Julie's gonna do the trick. So so at the sleepover, once they share the crush, girl two washes girl one's perfect dress. But the dress turns really small and pink. She must have like put like a red shirt in there to ruin her white dress, but then it turned pink. And the crush loves the dress, so it was a failed trick. Then Marissa does the trick. Girl one gives basket to girl two with lotion as a gift. It turns girl two's skin orange. We also said to change that. Then Marissa does another trick. Girl two goes to study with the crush and girl one changes all of girl two's answers so she looks 
stupid. <sighs> wow. And then I guess they play Seven Minutes in Heaven and Girl 2 ends up with another guy and Girl 1 ends up with the crush. Ooh la la. And they're at a grad party. Okay, so they must be graduating high school or something. Crush asks Girl 1, will you be my birthday present for his B-Day? Oh my gosh. I don't think the part of this Reading My Diary video is in it yet, but remember that for later in this video. And apparently the crush says to her, there's always one thing that I didn't like about you your last name and then he proposes so that was our book idea and we never wrote it thankfully so we made it to the yellow entry please please never write in yellow thankfully i can read it though august 30th 2013 i just got back like an hour ago from my job today i stayed there for two and a half hours instead of two today was also the day i got paid i got fifty dollars that's really good that's like 20 bucks an hour and i drew a little 50 dollar bill since i started i've worked three days and total the hours i worked was six and a half hours oh okay so it wasn't fifty dollars for the two and a half it was fifty dollars for the six and a half that's like one dollar every eight minutes ew math in the summer <laughs> Wow, doing the math to figure out how much money I made. Sadly, school starts in three and a half more days. Speaking of school, Sammy found out who her teacher was. Guess what else Sammy found out? She has lice. It's crazy. She's been itching her head for about a week and we didn't think she had it. We looked a couple times and saw nothing. Today though, I woke up to Sammy has lice. Apparently mom and Ben looked and saw them crawling all over her head and laying tons of eggs So we cut Sammy's hair to get them out easier. Her hair is shoulder length. I also got my hair trimmed It's 5 37 p.m. And mom's still trying to get the lice out and I drew a little picture of course of a louse and I said, I think that's how you spell it. My sister got lice like so many times when she was younger. It was terrible. September 2nd, 2013, OMG, tomorrow is the first day of school and today's the last day of summer. Sad face. So my outfit is a yellow shirt with flowers, pink, white, blue, and yellow plaid pants. Ooh, I'm getting chills just thinking about how ugly that is. Yellow socks with my new sneakers. Ugly drawn shirt, ugly drawn pants, ugly drawn shoes. But I can pretty much guarantee that they were also ugly in person and not just ugly in the drawing. They were supposed to be for mom, the sneakers, but I needed a new pair of shoes and they fit me so she gave them to me. Also, my nails, dot dot dot, I painted them white with pink, blue, and yellow polka dots. Ugh, it was annoying painting them. It took an hour and then right as soon as I was done, we had to weed, like pull weeds. That messed them up a lot, so I redid them. So in the end, I redid them four times. It took forever. Anyways, I can't believe I'm in sixth grade. If we still lived in Florida, I would be in middle school. Stupid sixth grade being attached to elementary school. Oh, by the way, we think Sammy is almost, or is, lice free. Yay! And then I outlined the little puppy and wrote, totes adore. Ugh. Why did I say that? September 5th, 2013. Today was the third day of school. So it turns out that Jonathan was here last year and I just didn't know his name. He's ugly. <laughs> Wow. I'm glad that people like me, but they're all ugly. Look at other bubble. <laughs> I was so judgmental. And then the other bubble says, apparently Ryan might like me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then there's also a picture of my table. Apparently I changed seats. So Vincent sat in front of me, and then my friend Genevieve sat next to me on the right, and then a guy named Jojo sat in front of her. Vincent said, hey Jacob, you can switch seats with me for now to play a game with Jojo, wink, wink. Jacob had a crush on me, so Vincent was trying to get him to sit in front of me so we could like, I don't know, talk or something, even though I didn't like Jacob. Anyways, I have a situation. So you know how Jacob S. likes me? Well, apparently, no one knew that I knew that. So in line, I heard Jacob say, yeah, I told Ben. And Vincent was like, why the crap did you tell Ben? He's gonna tell her. And Jacob was like, dude, Ben swore he wouldn't tell her. Well, that was happening. I just pretended that I didn't hear anything. It was so hard not to laugh. And then when we were switching, like switching classes, Vincent was like, a certain someone is sad. So I acted dumb and said, who? And he said, I can't tell you. So I asked why and he finally gave in after a while and said, fine, I'll tell you. Just promise you won't tell Jacob I told you this. So Jacob's upset? Yes. Why? I honestly didn't know why Jacob was upset though, but Vincent was like, because Sam's been saying you like him and Jacob believes him, so he's upset. And then I said, well, I don't like anyone. And all I've really said to Sam was, hi, I'm Carrie. That's the truth. <laughs> 
wow. <laughs> I've also had some hints that Sam likes me. Also at lunch, Christian and Brayden were like, hey Carrie, Vincent likes. And Vincent was like, no dude, don't tell her. And then they were like, eating lunch. Vincent likes eating lunch. So obviously he likes me too. And then I drew a little heart. Love is in the air. I am so full of myself. On September 9th, 2013, I wrote about some uninteresting stuff, but I did draw a nice little picture of some artsy fartsy things and wrote art. September 21st, 2013. I'm so sorry I haven't written in forever. It literally was only a couple weeks. Anyways, tomorrow's mom's B-Day. Well, the 13th was also Friday the 13th. I think it was pretty unlucky that Friday the 13th and 9-11 were in the same week. OMG, OMG, OMG. So Sammy got a second diary and she has a key to that one. So do I, secretly. <gasps> I'm actually speechless. I'm actually, I don't remember this. I, I don't like where this is going. I'm gonna be really upset at myself if I read her diary because that is like everyone's biggest fear with a diary. What's that sound that's like, is it me? Am I the drama? That's literally what I was, that's what I was doing. So I looked in it when she was outside or something and it said, I love her crush's name and he is eight. It was so adorable. I'm so not telling her I have a key cause then she'll stop writing her juicy secrets in there. <laughs> I'm so disgusted with myself. <laughs> oh my gosh. She spelled all of that right too. I'm so proud of her. But seriously, she's liked that guy since kindergarten and I had my first crush in third grade on Jack. Ew. <laughs> He's a butthole. <laughs> wow. Clearly I was way over Jack Smith. Well anyways, Sammy's at her friend Sophia's sixth B-Day party and Ben and Nate are at Hershey Park with their Boy Scout troop. So I'm her with mom and dad. I can't wait until Nora's supposed to visit. I've already planned it all out. It's going to be so much fun. October 17th, 2013. Apologies for not writing in forever without an E, forever. Anyways, during cheer, some of the eighth graders were talking. They said that last year, the seventh graders were making out. Like that's crazy. Mom and dad would kill me if I was making out with someone next year. So in the beginning of September, I wrote about Christian and Brayden saying to me, Vincent likes, and Vincent was like, no dude, don't tell her. And then they were like eating lunch. So yeah, I thought Vincent liked me. Apparently Vincent likes Elizabeth and she likes him back. Well, back to cheer. She also said that someone that was super cute asked her out like this. Hey, tomorrow's my birthday. So will you be my birthday present? Ugh. The cringe. She was going on and on about how happy she was and how they're now BF and GF. That would be so sweet. I hope some really cute, nice, smart boy asks me out like that one day. Now back to school crushes. According to Vincent and all of Jacob S's friends, Jacob is madly in love with me. Like he is drooling over me. Tee -hee. Not only am I super happy about this, but I also feel super bad because I don't like him back. I just want to be friends. Friend zone, lol. <laughs> what should I do? I don't want to crush him, but I also don't want to keep him wondering and hoping that I have the slightest feelings for him. What should I do? And then there's this really interesting picture of Jacob screaming, Carrie! And then there's me crying, saying, help me please. <laughs> and in between us is a heart with a question mark. And I wrote in a bubble, love is tough. Like this is really embarrassing, but it's also really cute looking back at this 11 year old journal entry. I wish I could meet someone out there that I could lose my breath to. A charming, intelligent, handsome, loving, honest guy who loved me for who I am. Facts, yes. Finally something that has some like sense. I see you knowing your worth. So far, that's not happening anytime soon with a sad face. And then there's another picture. The dog has a bow on it. And there's me saying, what should I do gigantic doggy? And the dog is saying, bark, bark. Really good advice. The next entry is on November 5th, 2013, but I just read this entry in my journal or drink YouTube video, so I'm not gonna read it again, but if you're interested in hearing it, you can go watch that video. November 22nd, 2013. I haven't written in forever. I've had too many projects. I felt like I just needed to write what happened today so I won't feel as sad and mad. Me and Madison have been planning a sleepover for a couple weeks now. We've never been to each other's houses before. Ben and mom have strep throat. Dad's getting sick too. So I was going to go over to Madison's for the sleepover. The plan was that we would text after school 
school and get each other's address. At 4.30, I texted Madison saying I just got home. I waited about 10 minutes, but there was still no answer. Then it was five, no answer. I kept texting, asking where she was. Then it was six, then seven, then eight. I kept checking my iPad. Oh my gosh, that's right, I didn't have a phone yet. I didn't get my first phone until eighth grade, I think. I kept checking my iPad every minute to see if she had texted back, no answer. Finally, at 8.15, I got a text from Isabella. It said, hi Carrie, it's Madison. I'll text you when I get home. Hunger Games was awesome. Apparently she went to go see Catching Fire, the second Hunger Games movie that came out today with Claudia and Anya. She didn't even bother to tell me, hey Kyrie, I can't make it tonight, I'm going to go see Catching Fire. Oh my gosh, I made the dog into a devil puppy and pointed at it and said it was Madison. <laughs> Like, I can understand being upset, but that's a little much. Then once they got there, they met up with Catherine, Isabella, Maddie, Abby, and Allie. Even though she had friends with devices that could contact me, she still didn't. So I was waiting for her to get back home so she could explain to me what happened. So I was waiting for Madison to get home. Again, I was waiting and waiting and waiting, and then finally at 9.20, she said, Hi, Carrie, my mom said no to a sleepover, but we can hang out on Sunday. Sorry I didn't text you earlier. My mom was wondering what your mom's email was so she could email her about a possible sleepover soon. That's so weird that she asked for an email and not a phone number. So I told her what happened, how I was checking my iPad 24-7, how I had no idea what she was doing, how I felt like she'd rather ditch me to go see a movie after she made plans, after she told me to my face that she would text me after school. I don't know if I want to be friends with Madison anymore. Friends don't do things like that. She could have asked, hey Carrie, want to come? But she didn't. I really thought Madison would be a good friend of mine. I guess not. Although, spoiler alert, Madison and I ended up being very good friends, so. That's kind of funny. <laughs> yep, on November 30th, 2013, at the end of the entry, I said, oh, by the way, me and Madison are friends again. Yay! Um, this entry's kind of boring. On December 20th, 2013, I said, I have so much good news. First of all, Dad's B-Day was awesome. We got Chinese and I got the best fortune ever. It said, loving is sharing rainbows of happiness. That is so me. Also, we had FLE. That was like our school's sex ed. It was pretty cool. We reviewed last year's stuff and had diagrams of a woman having a baby. I also found out that I want to be an obstetrician. It's the person who delivers babies and stuff. Mm-hmm. January 1st, 2014. It's 2014! I survived 2013! Yay! We went to an 80s themed New Year's party. I looked totes amazing. Or should I say, radical. LOL! <laughs> oh, I went skiing. Very fun. Oh my gosh, this is such a sad entry. This like actually makes me want to cry. I have no memory of this journal entry, and I'm not going to share it because it's very personal, but wow, oh my gosh. One of the things about looking back on my old journal entries really just makes me realize how much we forget. Mm, wow, wow, I have like chills. February 16th, 2014. OMG, OMG, OMG. So many OMGs. I got a desk. Yay! I'm so happy. It's a white corner desk with shelves, drawers, and lots of room to do homework and stuff. Wow, that is the desk that's still in my room at home. That's crazy that I've had it for almost 10 years. Also, yesterday I went to a six hour babysitting class. It was pretty fun though. I learned how to do CPR to an adult, kid, and infant, how to change diapers, how to use an EpiPen. I love how I spelled EpiPen. How to give medicine, how to grind pills, how to do the Heimlich, and more. There was also some lady who was so mean. She kept giving me, McKenna, and Olivia, they were there with me, the evil eye and asking us how to do something that she was teaching us. And whenever we were answering, she would be like, wrong! You would know if you were paying attention. You do it like this. And then she explained how to do it and she said exactly what we were saying. She would also say, I'm not gonna tell you what I said. You'll just fail the test and not become CPR certified and you'll never become a babysitter. <laughs> Ugh. At one point she was like, you pointing at me. How do you change a baby girl's diaper? And I started explaining the steps, like how to lay the baby down and take off the diaper. And as I was saying how to wipe the baby, she interrupted me and said, wrong, you wipe front to back. But she didn't ask me how to wipe the baby, she asked me how to change her. And then later she was like, you, pointing at me again. Okay, how do you wipe a baby girl? That time she asked me how to wipe a baby girl and not how to change a baby girl. <sighs> She also had a nose piercing and she really needed to shave. And then she also had a retainer and a tongue piercing, so she thawked like this. Oh my god! Oh my god! She. <laughs> I don't know. 
know how to react to that. <laughs> she was so mean and annoying. Mm. Oh my gosh, there's so much sad stuff in here. I don't want to read the details of this journal entry, but I wrote it on March 15th, 2014, and I was sleeping over with one of my friends and her parents were getting a divorce at the time, and so she just started like bursting out crying to me and was explaining the effects that it had on her. Mm. The things that she was telling me about the details of it, it's just really eye-opening to see how much a little kid picks up on and just how it affects them. Ooh, that is just so, so, so sad. She was having really bad thoughts about herself and she made me promise not to tell anybody. And I said that I didn't want to break her trust, but I knew I had to tell someone. I told my mom and she was so glad I told her and she wanted me to tell my school's guidance counselor. She even told me she doesn't want to get married because she would be too scared that he might divorce her and she wouldn't want to traumatize her kids if she had any. Oh, so many sad things. March 16th, 2014. Okay, so the whole Jacob S thing. Yeah, um, he's still madly in love with me. LOL, I'm just so gorgeous. I mean, at least I was confident. Just maybe a little too much because I don't think I was looking too great. So we got a Google Apps account for school and apparently Vincent and Jacob S were talking to each other about crushes on it. So Jacob was going on and on about me, LOL. And Vincent was all like, yeah, Carrie's short, but she's still adorable. <laughs> and Jacob was like, no, she's a precious angel. <laughs> Wow! Like, although I don't like him, it's really nice to know that he doesn't care that I'm short or totally obsessed with rainbow hippie chick stuff. At the time, I was obsessed with like rainbows and peace signs and stuff like that. Also him, Jacob, and Vincent were doing a gig in music. I think that was just like part of music class where you could like go up and perform something. They were singing Viva La Vida and a couple people started singing along and so I did too. Afterwards, he told Vincent, Oh my gosh, I was actually singing with Carrie. <laughs> This is so cute. She's actually singing with me. And then just a couple days ago in music, my class was learning a dance called Lucky Seven. So when my music teacher was teaching us how to do it, Jacob just happened to be my Lucky Seven. The dance made us hold hands and even when we were supposed to stop holding hands, he wouldn't let go of my hand. I was just looking around like la 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 la. Not like Jacob won't let go of my hand or anything. But I do have to say, his hands were so cold and sweaty, prob because he was nervous because he was holding hands with me. Oh my god. This was clearly such a confidence booster. And he was bright red the whole time. Once he finally let go of my hand, he rushed over to his friends and was like, I was holding hands with Carrie. And all his friends were like, I know, we saw. Congrats, man. And all my friends were like, hee hee hee. And I was like, ugh, why? Why do I have to be so pretty? <laughs> LOL. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then on the next page, whoops, these pages have been skipped accidentally. My camera just died, so I think this is gonna be the last entry of this video. March 20th, 2014. OMG, once again, starting a journal entry with OMG. It's my B-day on Saturday. I'm bringing cookies tomorrow to school, and so is Ben. So yesterday, for some reason, Marcus S. and Brayden, two dudes in my class, were deciding who their favorite person at the lunch table was, and they both said me. I'm just so pretty, lol. Oh my goodness. Not to mention, Jacob agrees, if you know what I mean. Hee <laughs> hee. Weird. I'm weird. I am the weird one here. Oh my gosh. Anyways, we got our Iowa test results back. We need to get in the 91st percentile or higher to get into Algebra 1 next year. You also need to get a past advanced score on the math SOL. So Ben got 99% and I got 96. Stupid Ben. He answered all the questions and I left out 6. Sad. But I still passed. Ugh, always comparing myself to my twin. It's just part of being a twin, I feel like. We pranked dad saying I got 88% and Ben got 99%. I acted all sad and he totes bought it. When we were saying our favorite parts, that was something we did at dinner time. Everyone in my family would go around saying their favorite parts of the day. When we were saying our favorite parts, I said one of mine was Ben getting 99% and said that was really nice and mature of me. Oh, my dad said it was really nice and mature of me. But then I was like, and I also got 96%, woohoo! It was awesome. 
<sighs> so we're ending off right before I turned 12, which means we are done with 11 year old Carrie. That is just so crazy. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below your favorite part of your day or your favorite part of this video. Also, let me know when I should do the next part in this series because I have no idea. I really don't know, but you should subscribe so that you're here when I do post the next one. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this cringy, funny video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.